Hello there. In this video, we're going to work on animations inside this stable diffusion. We're going to use it animate diff and we'll look on a new way we can improve our animations and make it much longer. So let's go ahead and start. First, we need to install necessary items for this project. Before we install extensions, I would recommend for you going to ffmpeg.org and download it free application from there, which is help us to take video on the segments and put them together. This is actually very useful for many other projects and extensions. So it's a very good application to have it install it. Another one I would recommend you to do is going to the Visual Studio Microsoft and downloaded visual code. It's a free environment and also it provides the tools that help work with many other applications. We not necessarily needed this library install for this project, but I highly recommend uh, due to some other, like I think um, React or some other ones applications will use this Visual Studio and another applications I would recommend to download it. It's free application called Shutter Encoder and it will you are going on top of FFmpeg and help us to take video apart and put together. It's just very nice utility to have. All of these links and other links from video will be provided down in description. As well, I would recommend just to give a try another application that I used all the time. It's called Tapaz AI Video, which allowed me to take my video, add frames, upscale, and they work much better than some upscalers inside the stable diffusion I found for myself when I was testing around. Again, link will be down below, but this is a little bit different because this is a paid and just let you know, I purchased this application by myself and I do like it. Now let's go back to our stable diffusion. This is stable diffusion automatic 11.11 installation and we need to install several um, extensions. One will be animate diff and another one control net. To install those extensions, if you're not yet done so, you can go to inside the extensions, go to available, click load from, and let me uncheck install it because mine is already installed. And we can search, like for example, animate div, which has come up as the web UI, this one you wanted, and you just click on install. This is, will take a little bit time to install it. And in some cases, maybe need restart your server. By server, I mean this application that is run in your command prompt. The same way you can install control net as we're searching and again you can notice it is installed if you already have installed those those, those applications before extensions then we, i recommend go to inside install it and click for check for updates you'll notice right here if you need it or you have some updates they will come up and it should showing something like this it says new commit new commit so this is update notice it is on the control net and as well one on animated div next what we want to do is click apply and restart after all installation completed you should see in main window animated div and control net as drop down available for this video i'm using deliberate version 2 checkpoint as well assembling method i'm going to use gmp plus plus to m cars sampling will go set to 35 in some case you maybe want to increase to 55 we leave it everything else as default for just testing around and just for fun let's create small sm slimy alien portrait photorealistic just to create as a test image here next what we want to do this is animate and we'll use it all of these properties i just want to do this step by step First, let's go ahead, extend animate, and you notice right here we have it motion module. Let's click down. Notice I have it more than one. Mostly we're looking for this checkpoint. If you need it more than one animation module, try a different one. I would recommend another extension called Civit AI. And if you go inside Civit AI after installation, click on the filtering, select um, content type. In this case, we're going and we'll select motion module click search and it will bring motion modules is available notice i already have a two modules is installed 
and then it can install more if you need it or you need for any specific project. I will also provide link down below for the video how to install CVTI, but it should be actually straightforward to do that. Okay, so we have an animated motion checkpoint. We enable. Let's click enable this um, animate div extensions and frames. We'll put it 24 frames right now. As generated, we'll use it closed loop. This is some new stuff was added. It's mean it won't be break. It will look like more uh, looping animations, eight frames per second. And we'll say format as PNG JP. So let's leave it all of this as default. I think it's ready to try and then let's click generate. And you can see right here our animation completed. It's actually done very good. Nice looping animations of the aliens slimy smiling that we can produce repeatable result if we're going to reuse our seed however nice things about anime diff that it work also with other elements like for example control net so let's go ahead right now we expand control net and we're going to upload one of the image and as a test for this video i'm going to use this um, short clip and you can see it's a girl she's taking some fruits out of the uh, bag so we'll go use it this one video and we need put a single image extract frame for this best way to do it it's using shutter and quarter which is actually free we can go and put movie inside next after this select what function we want it in this case we want to just create jpeg file you notice it's open select path where you want to put it also i would need to click right here create animation sequence on this case it will split them apart and as you're doing this be sure your footage frame rate set properly this is currently frame rate set to the 25 frames per second and it's 4k video it's actually what exactly the same showing for us here and i will recommend don't change this because in the future, when we're going to work with a longer format on this, you want to have it properly frame rate. After when you set this, just click start function and it will split for you in the frames. After it's performed, you should have it something like this, a lot of different frames, single extract it and put it in a folder the way you need it. So what I'm going to do is take one of this image, the first top one, and drop in control net. Next, in control net, I'm going to click enable, pixel perfect so it will set properly size, and select open pose, because I want to just detect the person. Also, as I select open pose, I want to be sure it is selected everything, what is meaning open pose full, so we'll have a face and all these details there available. We'll leave it everything by default, only I want to switch control net is more important. At this time, let's go see what's happening with our experiment. And I'm going just to leave everything here as default. Notice it's only one image. It's maybe even look a little bit closer to what we have. And right here we have our animations. Notice the model does not move because we're using only single control net, which is kind of a lock all motions inside to this preset. For unlock and make a little bit more motion with the video, we actually need to go and change stuff. For this, we actually need to switch from single image to the batch. Then we need to put it path to the directory where we have our sequence created. We can leave everything as default for now and ready to click generate. And right here we have our alien created. You can see it is um have it now motion because it's reading from our control net but we also can base this on the video so right now we're kind of limited to 24 frames and that's what the original was problem when you create these animations it's only can create so many frames the latest versions was updated so we can actually make this much longer let's go do with video so right here i create video and this video it's from those frames i only cut down to about 70 frames right here 75 frames is what we recognize also i'm going to mp4 just want to have it a little bit smaller compress we leave it 
everything default. Same, we leave it in a sequence because we have it our sequence for the control net already frame it. It's will read only 75. So it's one read more. It's read only as many as we need it. And right here we have it our video. So let's go ahead now when it's guided with video. Let's go click and generate. By the way, you'll notice I add a little bit more to my strings because I was getting um, some images that may push boundaries a little bit on a YouTube. So I need to adjust a little bit my prompt. When you select output as a MP4, it does not display in your preview. To view your video, you want to go to your locations. Currently, it's like text to image, stable diffusion. And inside here, you can find you have your animations that was created before. Notice it is not loopable because our animation was driven by video, but it is still kind of very nice. Motions have there and have some a little bit of magic applied to this. But because we are using all standards plugin, everything, the textual inversions and all stuff can apply as well. So let's go ahead. We'll just apply first as a test. So right here, easy negative, just removing and let's go just add bad hands. Next, we want to go ahead and maybe add something in text to image. And we'll just go and use it lower right there. And let's add color box mix to this. Okay. After when we're done adding Laura and textual inversions, let's try again. And we'll go ahead and click generate. And here's our animations with stylizations and Laura. You can see it definitely applies some fun, interesting things. Come up very weird, maybe when you have a nightmare or something else it's come up but i think it's worth to experiment a little bit with this and of course in this video i did not going for um exactly the same what we see i want to do something more fun interesting and it's based on some motion from control net and as well based on animations that we're putting in our text if you're interested to create more realistic way then I will put it for you link down below. You can see video where we have it more close to the um, video that we imported. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you'll find some information useful. Please subscribe, share, thumbs up. Your support is really greatly appreciated.